our life is at stake, you know? If every living creature dies, we are not going to survive. EcoSud is an environmental NGO which exists since 2000. We start as a watchdog and then in 2008 we start up to be more proactive. For us it's very important to involve the community. The help of the Commonwealth Foundation has been important for us because we have been able to set up a plan for the next years and the real support of this grant was also to be able to finance our staff. This is not usual to get the possibility to finance our human resource. And for me, this has been very important. As a small island, Mauritius is very vulnerable to environmental emergencies and climate change is accelerating also those environmental issues such as loss of biodiversity, flooding, drought, food scarcity, which then result to many social problems. We have today strategic objectives. First one is to restore natural ecosystem with a community. The second one is to work around the issue of food security and food sovereignty. So we think that agroecology is the way to deal with this issue. We also fight for the recognition of nature rights into our constitution. For so many years now, we've seen a rapid urbanization, like agricultural land being converted into commercial land. Our sea are being dilapidated. We are losing our wetlands, which are a very fragile and important ecosystem. Facing those challenges, we are advocating to save, restore, and help those natural ecosystems survive, on which our own survival depends. With our position of, let's say, watchdog activists, it's quite hard for us to get funding from the local people here, from the local company or even from our government. Les bébêtes vont continuer devenu compost pur. With the help of the Commonwealth Foundation, this grant has enabled us to restructure our advocacy. So now we have been able to set up a communication and advocacy department. We have been able to make videos. We have been able to hire consultants to help us to produce our strategic objective for the advocacy plan. So to be able to get the support to develop what we think is crucial for the country, it's vital for us. We are now closely working with other organizations, increasing their own capacities, and we are also working on community advocacy, helping communities to raise their voice in front of environmental challenges that they are facing. The next for me is that we can be able to make more and more people aware of the necessity to respect nature and to respect every living creature in this country. We have a lot of hope. Like we really feel, like as an NGO, that we are on the right track. Because today, when we talk about rights of nature, we cannot neglect communities. Rights of nature and human rights work together. And for the future, we really want to see that we stop destroying our island and our environment. We cannot go against nature anymore. <laughs>